Breaking news, body camera footage from the attempted assassination of former President Trump has been released. This footage, obtained by Fox News Digital, shows the encounter between officers and the suspect, Thomas Matthew Crooks. Viewer discretion is advised as the footage contains disturbing content. We have blurred out images of Crooks and muted profanity. Here is that body camera footage. He was right where you picked me up, bro. He was on that left side. It's a shop. I mean, it's a shop. A lady from Scott. In the stairs, the far stairs. Yo, you were about to hop up. He's laying down. He's got an arc. Next building over. Right after the gap. He's got glasses, long hair. I need a ladder. Yeah. Yo, Mike. I climbed the wall and I popped my head right in front of him, bro. He's got a book bag. He's got mask. AR laying down. Yeah, he's got. He's laying down, burned out, book bag next to him. Give me a hard line. Most sets in over here. The strong sets in here. I'll find those columns up here. But watch out, because he can come right down on you over there. Oh, this is going to drop. Oh. Keep eyes on. Give me a ladder. No, I don't. You got Bruh. on top of this building, the left one. I jumped up. This side, the first one. That one, laying down. There's a gap in between you and there. Yo, Jess, you got me up once, bro. Yo, Jess, you got me up once. Give me up again. Ready? Yep. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Nope. Yeah. 
1305, so I'm calling one in custody, HR building south, rooftop. 1382, okay. Are you guys committed? I need a tag resource to the follow hospital. We are committed. We are on with the body of the suspect. All three, you guys good? No, we're two from our three. No return fire? You guys all right? Yeah, we're good. All right. Watch the shells. 13 I'm counting. Yeah. Are you guys committed or did you play three? I need a spot. Eastbound on 68 and northbound on Meridian. Totally shut down, so nobody can leave that area. Okay, did the motorcade come by you? Okay, you can open it back up now. Hey, I think we got the officer up there. I got a trooper. You got two down below you, or you did. Two right there. On the left side. Pretty sure we got shot at. There's a real close snap, dude. Crew, before you came up here, I popped my head up there like an idiot by myself, dude. He turned around, I fing dropped, and I started. I thought they got somebody up there. I thought somebody was up there. I put my head up here. If he was up there, I was close. Dude, that's how I was calling out, bro. On top of the roof. We're not, are we on the same frequency? We are attacking. And then they're going to rally him now. I'll let you know. Don't let him know. Let's go. Post away. Where are you? Let's go. How did you hear our ride? Huh? Turn our ride off. Get our ride turned off. Make sure that you keep it. No, let me get down to the paradise. Come on. Oh, sorry. Good chances. I'm telling you what I'm doing. Chances. You want to go to the biggest guy? I don't know. Got him. Hold him. Take a third. This concludes the video footage. To summarize, the newly released footage shows officers standing over Crook's body on the rooftop. The body cam video reveals significant confusion among the officers, particularly regarding why the roof of the ATA building where Crooks had fired from was left unattended. 
There is also uncertainty about whether the shooter was effectively neutralized and why action wasn't taken sooner to prevent him from opening fire. The video captures the final moments as officers converge on Crook's body after he was fatally shot by counter snipers. This footage represents a crucial piece of publicly available information, providing more insight into the events of that day and the measures taken to stop Crooks. The security failures that led to the shooting have sparked a wave of blame shifting among the local, state, and federal agencies involved. According to the FBI, Crooks arrived at the rally site at 11 o'clock a.m. on the day of the shooting, stayed for an hour, and then left. He did not return until 3.50 p.m. Local law enforcement first spotted him around 5.10 p.m., just 50 minutes before Trump was scheduled to speak, based on documents obtained by Fox News Digital from Senator Chuck Grassley, who received them from the Beaver County Emergency Services Unit. We will continue to provide any additional body camera footage or other videos that help us piece together the terrifying events of July 13th. This full nine-minute clip was just released today, courtesy of Butler Township and our partners at Fox News Digital.